Don't. Oh. No! Oh my god! Oh. I hate white people. Peace. This week's episode of Two Freckle Friends is brought to you by Purina Puppy Chow. Because with the price of groceries, I'll only be able to afford to eat dog food. I mean, yeah, cat food is expensive. I have to. Oh, that reminds me. I need to order cat food for Rainstorm. Uh, I thought you were feeding her tuna. No, I don't feed her. I only feed her tuna when there's nothing else in the house. And I just happen to have tuna in the cabinet. We'll see about that. Hold on, crackhead is outside yelling. Hey, what's up everybody? This is your girl, Allie. And Brooke. If you think Brooke feeds her cat tuna on a regular basis, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel by clicking on that red button, as well as tapping on that bell icon to stay up to date with the latest notifications as to when we drop new episodes right here on Two Freckled Friends. This week, somebody's not eating the puppy chow. Not the Rachel Ray brand. What's the, fa the foo foo? Um, shit. They mail it to you. It's like home chef, but for dogs. Oh, the one that you put in the refrigerator. You keep dog food in your fridge? It's not dog food, it's fresh pet. Real meat, real veggies. That you feed your dog. So it's dog food. I see people on TikTok who do like these full meals for their animals. Oh like they'll my scramble Lord. the eggs and then they'll and coat put the, the rib chicken. eye on the grill. Yeah, and they'll season oh. it. I'm like, yo, what are you eating? Brooke, why don't you tell the good folks out there who might not be eating as good in their neighborhood what we're watching? Today we're watching a movie I haven't seen in years. I have no idea what it's about besides messed up shoes and torn up socks. We're watching Beethoven. One of my parents got me a Beethoven coloring book and I was so mad. Like all the people in this movie are boring. I don't want to color them. I know there's multiple versions of this movie in terms of sequels. I remembered as a child gravitating towards the third one. I don't know why. For those of y'all who are new to us, what we're gonna do is Brooke and I are going to watch Beethoven. We will give our own individual thoughts and from those thoughts, we will provide this movie with its official freckle score. So without further ado, from 1992, the live action, animal-based, family classic, Beethoven. Let's roll it! I'm not crazy though. There was a cartoon, wasn't there? There was a cartoon. I have no idea how long it lasted. <laughs> Beethoven! Here we go. Three, two, one, play. The cartoon came out in 1994. It was a Saturday morning cartoon. ABC or Disney? CBS. That's why we ain't know about it. Oh, yikes. Oh, no. <laughs> Who watched CBS on Saturday morning? Guess who's coming for dinner? Kung Pao Caterpillars, Ginger Sesame Slugs, Lion Kings, Timon and Pumbaa starts mm. next Saturday. Mm. He's chillin'. <laughs> He's spillin'. He's totally thrillin' the all-new twisted, twisted, twisted tales of Felix the Cat. Starts next Saturday. Here we go. Don't go too fast. I need puppy. The Stanley Tucci. Nigel. 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 No. This is very Cruella de Vil. This is weird. Fifteen puppies stolen. <laughs> now y'all know my inner white girl's gonna come out. Isn't that the sweetest? St. Bernard puppies are adorable though. Look at them. They're a little, little scruff. Yeah, everybody wants a puppy until they're not puppies anymore. Until they start shitting everywhere. Oh, but look at the little dachshund. <laughs> no one's picking Beethoven. Because he's going to become huge. Hi, puppy. Who is in this movie? 
Hey, you got some heavy hitters here. Well, how big's he gonna be? Exactly. I think Bernard to get to be about 150 pounds. I need a big, mean junkyard dog. Like Cujo. <gasps> he looks good in me. <laughs> no. Damn, little beast. You got any pit bulls? Puppy mills don't sell pit bulls. You have to go to the hood. What about the alarm? It was that easy? Stanley Tucci, I'm happy you went bald. All you gotta do is step over. Come on, puppy, just go for the car ride. All this work to steal puppies, though? I've stepped in the beam. Doesn't this beat take it straight off the street? Oh, don't hurt the doggies. Look at Wishbone. What's the story, Wishbone? Committed a lot of misdemeanors, but I do believe that was my very first felony. Come on, Wishbone. Let's go in the back and check. Hey. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at him jump. Back in your house. No doggies, don't jump. That puppy, don't jump that bag. Oh, he's getting it. Cowboy boots? This ain't Texas. Oh. Ain't no hold em. Oh. Thanks for busting me out of there. The cheese. The keys. Put the cheese down. Mm. Allie, look at the little fur babies. Oh, he's sleeping. It don't be, don't be, don't be. He ended up in a wealthy area. I see landscaping. Pick Just fence. trotting around like he owns the place. That's an ugly ass cat. <laughs> oh, my little tail. That smells like money. In 92. Why he's flinging that newspaper, yo. How are you Why he looked like he had a hard night on the bottle. Didn't strap a GoPro to a dog in '92. <laughs> oh, yeah. I want to know how much a house is worth today. I'm <laughs> just getting a house. <laughs> 7 a.m. up at Adam. See, that's how you know he professional working man. 7 a.m. He already dressed. Already dressed. Mm-hmm. Ooh, what's wrong? Did you have another nightmare? Yeah. Saturday at 7:02. Do we really have to get up? Saturday at 7, bro. Cartoons don't start till 8. That's annoying. This sucks. Invasive little doggy. Aww. You've been in the garbage. Puppy. Puppy. Hi. Where that mouth been? Been in the garbage. Mom, look, I dreamt I had a puppy and it came through. Honey, I take back almost everything I ever said about you being cold. Why is everybody in this movie so pasty? Daddy, can we call him Fred? We can't have a dog. If you occupy the kids, I'll run it down to the pound. The owner doesn't claim it, it'll be destroyed. If we keep it, the house will be destroyed. Yeah. They lick, they chew, they drool, they scratch. They have parasites. And it'll grow to be enormous and it'll take over the yard. The bushes will die, the lawn will look terrible. Yep. But he's so cute. It's another child. They're playing in their pajamas outside. outside in the yard, rolling around with this dumpster puppy. Daddy, can we sleep in my room? No. That's what you get for waking your kids up at 7 a.m. on a Saturday. We are people, people here. Dad, why can't you just give us a chance? Ooh, they whining. Those are three children who don't have student loan debt. All right, it's it's my decision. The dog will wake you up at seven. He'll be up with you. Hmm. You better think of something to name because when I come home and he destroys my house, this is just temporary. This is just temporary till we find the owner. Did you do your name in a crayon, hun? I don't think words for parts of the body make really very good names. He's got one of those. I look. Oh, Lordy. But that's what you call Uncle Richard. Oh. <laughs> the dog's name will be... Come on, MC oh, Hammer. Oh, MC Hammer? Hammer. No, 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 no. It's a dog. He doesn't have preferences. You Why is he overacting so much? Here. He'll tell us what he wants to be called. Beethoven. How did we get there? I saw how we got there, but that was pretty quick. My job. 
Oh my god. He's that big and y'all still don't have him trained yet? Oh no. If y'all didn't train, ooh, y'all didn't train that damn dog. Why is the dog getting older and the children are not? The dogs age pretty quickly. Oh. But he learned to roll over. Of all things. Bring the puppy back. Why have y'all not trained this dog or taken this dog somewhere? Oh my god. No! Oh, close your mouth. Oh my god. Why didn't they train the damn dog? But he could do that. But he could do that. But you know, but I'm optimistic. If you don't get your ass off the fucking table. No dogs at the table! I'm interested in learning more about your culture. If you want to know more about my culture, remove the dog from the table. And breathing on my table next to my food? If I don't get this deal, I'll kill myself. You know, if I can just get them to smell this stuff because air freshers. If you don't back up and get your ass out of my way. Off the damn table. You know, I didn't get any bacon. You were bitching and moaning about work, and it's like, oh, I didn't get any bacon. <laughs> oh, damn. Bacon? Gotta get that bacon! Yum, 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 it's bacon! Y'all don't get this damn dog. Oh, come on, get it, get it, get it. Oh, I can't be with the Vanguard Capital with dog drool on my pants. Just change your pants, George. I'm going to change my pants, Alice. Just change your pants, George. Y'all haven't discovered that? He makes all that money and is driving that Chevy. Is that claw seats? Again, the dog has aged, the children have not. Nobody is concerned about this huge ass dog walking down the street. <laughs> Look at Wishbone. Do they remember each other? <laughs> Don't. Oh. No! Oh my god! Oh. I hate white people. Peace? The child didn't even know whose dog it was. Hi, Mark. Air fresheners are the 12th fastest growing area. Oh, look at That's Annie. That's real nice. That's what's her name? I said Annie. Annie Potts. Everybody loves Raymond? No. It's Annie Potts. No, it's not. That's Patricia Heaton. Oh, you might be You might be right. You're right. It's Ohio not no baby. I am right. And that's David Duchovny. Why can't I be quarterback, huh? You're right. Let's see what you got. Hit me. I'm open. Hi, guy. Hi. That's why. Now sit down and shut up. Except I wouldn't want to hang it from my rear view mirror. Ugh. Ingenious. Right. Bravo, Newton. Oh, he was a rookie of the year. Ah! Gosh, Henry. You can play for the Cubs. <laughs> <laughs> so Beethoven's just been rolling around the city the whole day, enjoying freedom. I don't know how this would make anyone want to own a dog. Hi. Sipkins made me stay after. And he's picking them up. And she knows the dog gets out? See, I would love my kids, but I damn sure would be triple checking up on shit. They make too much money for this type of negligence. Exactly. You're absolutely right. That's Donna Ditsworth. She's the most popular girl in the whole school. Even Mark thinks she's perfect. Beethoven? Why is Beethoven gonna listen to you? He hasn't listened the whole day. <laughs> hey, check out Vita. I bet you wanna play fetch. Hey, where are we going? Cool dog. Cool dog. What's his name? Beethoven. Well, see he you later, nipples. Rice. Yes. Good job, he Beethoven. You sneaky as shit. He knows my name. Yours spells the best. We're gonna crunch some numbers. Maybe we can get together later this week. Ciao, Velo. Ciao. Ciao. Is that a chocolate chip cookie? That's a chocolate chip. Dogs can't eat chocolate. Nice backpack, Teddy. Why is the bus driver letting this happen? It's because of what's being called a transportation disaster and the bus driver shortage impacting schools nationwide. Oh, that bus driver don't care. We want to walk you home. 
where's Beethoven? Beethoven playing matchmaker. Beethoven needs to go and play protector. Be a dog. Beethoven turning to Cujo. Good job. <laughs> Um, sorry, sorry, Ted. And don't come back! How much did this movie cost? Too much. This dog has been around the town. Now the dog's a therapist. On the bed. You think he could like me, Beethoven? No. No, no, what about Ben? No, no, uh oh, you got the clean pillow against the, oh. You sleep in here, I sleep there. That's very nice. That's very nice. That's progress. How have you not discovered that hole in the backyard? Good night. Ever since you started looking for investors, you just seem... Well, hey, you wanted us to explain. Did they not have a headboard? Yeah. Well, I wish you'd come back to work. Wait, what? I like being home when the kids get home from school. But you don't pick them up. My man wants me to work full time? She don't do shit. She's not doing shit. She's not meeting the kids after school. Okay, one kid is over there watching boys and not having after school activities. The other one's getting bullied. Is she really doing her job as a stay at home mom? You gotta be kidding me. Police believe an animal kidnapping ring is at work. No one hears the TV going on downstairs? Did you hear something? No, I heard something downstairs. How'd you feel if your man wore pajamas like that? You're turning me out. You're turning me out. You know the dog you have. Why are you acting surprised? Damn, this movie earned a lot of money at the box office. Well, it had to earn something if there was at least two other sequels. I don't think it earned money because of how great of a movie it is. I think, <laughs> I think you're right, I think too. animal lovers ran towards it. We have to get somebody wonderful to take care of the kids. There's no question. This dog, you didn't want to be seen downstairs, but you up there? I still smell Beethoven all over me. How often do y'all watch that dog? I'm so quiet. Uh. Okay. Oh, oh no. Oh, baby. Yeah. Daddy's little girl been naughty? Ew. Who are you talking to? <laughs> but the face the dog makes, though. Uh. <laughs> That's how you do it. You're never getting out of there again. Never. Everything you need for spring at our best prices of the season at the Home Depot. How doers get more done. Look at that sprinkler system. They got money. You want to know somebody got money? Look how green their grass is. That's so true. That's so true. Wishbone, I want better for you. Mm -mm. I really don't like it when you tee the dogs. What are you, some kind of animal lover? We've developed a new type of ammunition. It explodes on contact. We'd like you to use this revolver for the tests. The extent of the damage at close range. Oh, he was a man of the house. Bye bye, Sanjay! Bye bye, kid! I presume you can get dogs with big skulls for the tests. I'm sure we'll be able to handle it. Oh, look at the kitty. That's a big ass comb. Oh, he's a oh. veterinarian. Okay, that's a little. That's a twist in the plot there. Okay. With them huge Coke bottle glasses, sir. I'm Dr. Varney. This must be Beethoven. Magnificent. He's scared and he wants to go home. I wonder if I might have a word with you privately. They aren't gonna hurt Beethoven, are they? Nothing could hurt Beethoven. Have you noticed anything strange about your dog lately? <laughs> Destroyed my life. <laughs> I've had to put down several of these animals over the past six months. They have a tendency to turn on people. Mention this because you have children. It never hurt the kids. It might take a bite out of you, though. How come you gotta go back to work anyway? How's she going back to work, eh? Good. She needs something to do. Hi there, you little cutie. Oh, I had a ball like that. No, oh, he's gonna figure that out. He's a problem solver. Made our decision. We want to get in bed with Newton Auto Air Fresheners. That's just great. That's thank you very much. Also, the wife works with him. What? No one wants to shake her hand. Are there any good restaurants in this burg? Why don't you just come over to our house? We can barbecue. Come to our house. We'll barbecue. Stratton has stuff on the street. There's an organ in the house. <laughs> Dang, everybody in this neighborhood got money. Uh-oh. Oh, Why are you not watching the small show? Oh. 
That's all he had to do to open the gate? If I had children, they would be having swim lessons from jump. Meanwhile, she would have died. I love you too. Beethoven, you saved my life. At the padded zebra. Oh my gosh, Emily's in the pool! The pool? You wanna get me into trouble? What? Bitch, you're not doing your fucking job. I thought I was gonna die. You were never in any real danger. So we'll let this be our little secret. I'd like to call my mother, please. Ooh! Immediately. She went full Karen, didn't she? Where were you while all this was happening? If Emily had stayed where I put her, none of this would have happened. What these children need is a little discipline. What you need to do is wash your face. What these children need is their mother. You're fired. They couldn't read the room. They wanted a restaurant. They sure did. We pulled this off in six months. We go home, Newton Auto Air Fresheners. Here's the paperwork, Giorgio. Uh, you gonna do that now, honey? Alicia. Alice. Alice. Could I have a refill, please? Thank you. Right down at the bottom there, George. It's exactly. Right there at the bottom. <laughs> Hon, don't sign that now. Why don't we have a little something to eat and then you can read it over? Alice? You keep trying to distract me when I'm talking about my fucking, fucking paperwork. These are purebred St. Bernard, isn't it? No. Oh, yes. <gasps> mm. Lovely, big, dumb animals. <laughs> I bet you do. <laughs> Where the blue arrow is. I hope Beethoven slimes that lady's dress. Beethoven, Bait, come on, down. Get out of here, you f mutt. I pitched in college. I'm upset. <laughs> How much of this shit do we have left? Guess what, fellow freckles? We have some exciting news. Two Freckled Friends now has an official Kofi page. Kofi is the best way to stay up to date with what's going on with the channel, as well as being able to make donations or contributions. People have been asking us what's the best way to donate to the channel, and you can do that from Kofi. K-O-F-I.com forward slash Two Freckled Friends. You can choose any type of donation, whether it's one time or monthly. If you're not able to financially contribute, no worries. Brooke and I are having so much fun making these episodes. We're gonna make Two Freckled Friends the biggest, best, baddest show it can possibly be. But if you're feeling generous with that tax refund, <laughs> I'm talking to you, Spanky. The website is Kofi, K-O-F-I.com forward slash Two Freckle Friends. Again, Kofi.com forward slash Two Freckle Friends. We'll also drop the link in the description below. All right, back to the show. I really don't like our dog. I don't trust them. I'm not interested in expanding and I'm not re-entering the workforce, George. You're going to have to do this on your own. The dog has to go. Those two idiots insulted your kids. They treated me like dirt, and he was the only one of us who had the nerve to give them the ride they deserve. Did you read the contract, George? My dream's going down the drain, and you're worried about a dog. Your family's going down the drain and you're worried about a dream. You don't need a bigger house. You already have the lifestyle. You got a wife, kids, your career, your business. Like, what is the problem? White men, they always need the next thing. Finally, y'all bathing that damn dog. That's $20 in eggs. What is happening? Beethoven. And we washed him too. You should smell him. You won't have to do anything for Beethoven from now on. Hey! They're the only time we got happy. Ah, with animals as large as yours, I like to do a follow up on rabies shots. I'll only be a moment. Free, finish, and kind. It looks like strawberry sauce. He's never done anything like this before. Unless you bring the animal to my office immediately, I'll be forced to press charges. Dad won't believe because he hates Beethoven. He's always hated Beethoven. Why would the child lie about something like that? And I don't... Yeah, because if the dog actually did it, the child would also be scared. No, 
you won't believe me, but I don't want to do this. And yet you're doing it. This bitch ass. And why would you want to take the dog to the office of the person that he allegedly attacked? As right. if he could handle him again? Like, right. Mr. Newton. Is this fucking movie over yet? I know that you're doing the right thing. 37 stitches. So sorry. I'm sorry. You were my dog, too. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna have to charge you for a day's boarding. Jimmy, who handles the lethal injections, he doesn't work today, so we're gonna have to hold the dog overnight. Rash move. Dog killer! Oh, Jesus, really? It's perfect for the ambulance, right? I'll be by in the morning. We'll do the test on him first thing. I got a You get it, dog! Put him in! Okay. <laughs> Did I do the wrong thing? Beethoven made this house real. He put the dents in it. I know he slobbered and he smelled bad, but he loved us. Even you. Maybe he handled them too roughly or something. George, Emily's really sticking to this. Have we ever known her to attack an adult and accuse him of lying? Well, instead of listening to some guy we've met only twice in our lives, maybe we should Listen try listening to, your to our fucking child. Please, it would make me feel better. Let's just go. We're all going with you. I'm terribly sorry. We want our dog. Yeah. yeah. All right. The dog's been destroyed. Why would you say that? I was told this wouldn't happen until tomorrow. I don't believe you. Hey, come on. Hey, hey, hey. What are you? Good, we gotta start getting the dogs. I'm gonna check this out. If I'm not back in 15 minutes, call the police. Don't come in after me. Bring me the St. Bernard for the ammo test. And bring me a little one for this chemical test. You can be a pioneer. We're gonna have a little field test of this new ammo. Crunchy or puffed? Puffed. Wimp. That's a child with a video game console. Yeah, you gonna figure it out. letting a bunch of dogs out. Dr. Herman Barnack and two associates were indicted 123 counts of animal abuse. Beethoven is not just some dog. He's, he's a member of our family, and we, we, we love him very much. Good night, honey. Good night, Beethoven. Y'all ain't never having sex. Oh, damn. Oh, no. I know they did not keep all them damn dogs. Let's give it a freckle scar! All right, it is time for Brooke and I to give Beethoven its official freckle score. 
I'm not happy. I always take pride in not being an animal owner because I feel you really need to be in the best situation, being able to provide a home, your job, finances, because pets are children, very large expenses. And even if you could take care of their costs and expenses, not all dogs are created equal. A St. Bernard would not thrive in an apartment complex type of environment. They need a yard, they need land to roam. And so watching Beethoven and I see this six figure income, big house, three kids, white picket fits, the quote unquote American dream, business owner. They provided for Beethoven. Hell, Beethoven had his own section, own plot of land in the backyard. That dog lived more privileged than probably 90% of the people on planet Earth. It had a great cast, but the plot was lacking. So many plot holes. I wasn't rooting for the dog, and that, that could be me showing a little bias. I think animals are important. I think if you own an animal, you should be a very good owner to that animal. It's just for this movie to have this cast you have a lot of heavy hitters you got bonnie hunt you've got patricia heaton you've got david Duchovny. you've got stanley tucci you've got oliver platt i don't know the name of the evil veterinarian but he is a known actor it was just lacking a lot beethoven's not gonna be for me it might be for y'all animal lovers out there that's totally fine i was bored a lot the action was d-list the dad is not a great actor i'm gonna have to give this movie a two two out of five freckles it it's really a 1.5, but the cast is getting it up to a two. I don't have shit to say. One and a half freckles. We done. Sounds good to me. Drop in the comments what you think of Beethoven. <laughs> tried to hold it in and I couldn't. Drop in the comments your thoughts on Beethoven, whether you agree or don't agree with our scores. And thanks so much for tuning in to this latest episode of Two Freckle Friends. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel by clicking on that button, as well as tapping on the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest notifications as when we drop new episodes right here on TFF. Can I go back to laughing at your sure. score? You can go ahead. <laughs> Have a ball. We done recording? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. That is the best review you've given the entire <laughs> in the history of the show. I'm rolling with my homegirl. 1.5 freckles. No, I'm a match. <laughs> I'm gonna match your energy. No, fuck that. We're running it back. This movie is trash. Stay <gasps> in the gutter. I can't believe it's not butter trash. I hate you so much right now. And in the words of Bob Barker, please help control the pet population and have your fucking pets spayed or neutered. Bob Barker reminding you help control the pet population. Have your pets spayed or neutered. Goodbye, everybody. This is Rich Field speaking for The Price is Right, a Mark Goodson television production.